Good afternoon. This is Anka Metcalf with TradeAllout.com, and uh, today's Friday. It's July 26th, and it is 6:50 p.m. The market just closed today, and we're looking for the week ahead. And we have picked the dollar yen currency pair as our favorite trade of the week. In front of us, we have a chart of the dollar yen. When we look at the daily chart of the dollar yen, we can e easily see that it today it has breached the daily support level levels. And let's go to the daily chart. And this is the area, the focal area that I'm uh, looking at. It's 98.20. It is a fulcrum area, and it has been breached today. Now let's go back to the four hour chart and let's see what's going on. So for medium and long term, we are short bias. So uh, last week, um, the dollar yen has traded sideways and we've seen that today's and yesterday's price action has been lower. Like I said, it has breached that area of 98.20 so the la these last two trading days have continually sold off without any kind of pullback. The technical chart pattern indicates that there is a strong, still a strong uh, downtrend forming into this currency pair. And there are tradable voids that can potentially be filled. And we're looking at this level of 97 at this area. Where my cursor is right now, it's currently the last level of support right here. That would indicate an intraday uh, into an intraday chart pattern as being an oversold area but we're looking for this at a, as a short and medium term trade and therefore this support level also coincides with the a price action support level at the same price range of 97 whole number as well so a lot of traders will look into this psychological area we still have an ascending trend line from the daily chart let me just go to the daily chart you could see the ascending line so we're still into an uptrend but we're trying to capture a much smaller move due to this breach right here uh, at 98. so therefore we can expect the first target into this support area of 97 and the second target at this ascending trend line of 96 uh, point 70 around this area if on Monday we should consolidate bullishly into this area and if we should take out uh, and if we should take take out 9850 and continue higher then we will not continue to follow through with this trade to uh, to initiate the short but if we see the price action on Sunday and especially on Monday in the overlapping session, Euro and uh, US session, if we see the price action grinding lower towards this area, breaching the whole number again, then we will watch the price action and initiate the trade, uh, to the trade for lower targets. So just to recap, our entry is under 98.20, so uh, right above in, uh, into this area right here. Our stop, aggressive stop is 99.40. Uh, which is into this area right here for an aggressive short for a continuation of these two of these two days sell off. And for those of you that are looking for a longer term trade or a more protective stop, you can place your stop over 100.53. I think we should go for the uh, tighter stop for the continuing price action of lower but again we should monitor that 98 whole number area so like i said we're risking in this trade of approximate 140 pips and we're looking for targets into 97 and into 9670. thank you so much this was all for today remember to like us and follow us on facebook and subscribe to our youtube channel for more updates thanks and see you soon